I'm a National Honor Society member. Also, I'm the class president of the Williamsburg Charter High School's graduating class of 2012. Andres Miranda. We're here today for three reasons. The first, to protest against any and all. We're here today to protest against any and all attempts at closing our school because we deserve to stay open. If, if we have a problem with those that control the school, then the Board of Education needs to fix that. We need them to help us and not close us down. Yeah. The students should not be hindered for stuff that is not in their control. The second reason we're here today, we are a proven, successful learning program. We have students attending their classes. We have students performing in those classes. We have students graduating from high school and moving on to colleges known throughout our country. And lastly, our most important reason is that we care. That we, as students, care. That we, as parents and as teachers, and most importantly, as a community from Williamsburg Charter High School, care about our school. We don't wish to, we don't want to go to some other school. This is our home. This is what we call home. A place that we can go to to learn safely and respectfully and grow with an emotional bond with our teachers and create bonds that will follow us past high school and into college and bonds that will stay with us for the rest of our lives. Yeah. If there's one thing the Board of Education needs to know is that they need to hear and listen to the voices of the students of Williamsburg Charter High School. Yeah. And Charter trusts in us. We have to believe in Charter the same way they did in us. And that's why we're here today, to show them that we believe. Yeah. Don't close our school down. Let me hear you say, don't close our school down. Don't close our school down. Don't close our school down. Don't close our school down.
exposed to a life that otherwise they would not be able to. So I would like everyone who hears us right now, go talk about us. Tell them how our children took, they got out of school early. They don't have to be here, but they decided that this is so important. And their teachers, that they've come here on their own and with parents to support them because we feel our school is special and our children are learning academically and socially how to interact with each other and soon will be interacting with the world around us. Yeah, talk to them. It doesn't matter what you say, it's all right. Come on, it's all man. Right. It's all right. It's all good. Really, dude? Yeah, I got you. Yeah, I got you. Social connections with friends. Yeah. 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 And emotional connections with counselors like you. Yeah. Right here. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I know about math. Every yeah. single thing. Yeah. Yes, John. Yeah. 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 Oh, God. You want to talk about the first? The school has helped me a lot with my personal growth as a person. And I don't think I would be the person I would be today if I didn't do some charges.
accountability, ensure a rigorous education, and protect the public's investment in our mission. It is our greatest hope that we are given the opportunity to see, to see these changes occur and that our students continue to be served with the highest levels of quality and compassion. We are excited about the positive steps that we have already taken, including the recent election of a faculty member to sit on the school's board, which so happens to be Mr. Gonzalez. Yeah. 